Hey everybody, Buzzsaw uh, Gaming here, hanging out with my little retro buddy right there, Mr. Buzzsaw, in the background, Iron Soldier on the Atari Jaguar. We are here to bring you our favorite top five, <laughs> there goes Mr. Buzzsaw, top five favorite mech games. Now, this is an interesting genre. I mean, there's a lot of mech games all over the place. I, I can't claim to have played all of them, uh, especially the newer stuff. You know, I'm mostly a retro game player. I don't really have a, a newer collection. But uh, anyways, these are some uh, awesome games that I've experienced that I liked. Top five list. Uh, maybe some interesting ones in there that you haven't heard of. So, yeah, stick around. It'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> Mr. Buzzsaw is already right there, hanging out on the Atari Jaguar. We got the controller right there with the overlay. And the number pad right there under the overlay that controls your 42-foot uh, uh, mech. Over there, the Jaguar box is 64-bit power kit. Now, to begin with, actually, I have some honorable mentions. Uh, a couple that I don't have, actually. Actually, don't have with me right now. Uh, one of them on the NES, Metal Storm. That's an awesome, awesome game for that era, for a third generation. Uh, mech game, like a side-strolling mech game. Uh, another one, oh, <laughs> Mr. Buzzsaw agrees. Another one that's really awesome is on the Super Nintendo. And that is Metal Warriors. That one is also really awesome. Unfortunately, the price is high which is why I don't have it, but that's also a really cool mech game on the Super Nintendo. Again, another kind of side-scrolling game where your mech goes around. Uh, the driver of the mech can actually walk out from the mech. <laughs> so it's actually a pretty cool game. And then back in the day in PC, like in the early 90s, I remember playing a lot of uh, Mech Warrior, Mech Warrior 2 on my PC. Now I have those somewhere. I mean, if you've listened before, you know, a lot of my stuff is... Uh, <laughs> Missing in action somewhere in my folks' garage, so I have no idea where, but uh, it's there along with a couple of old PCs and some, uh, you know, old games and stuff like that. So, anyways, those are some quick honorable mentions as far as the uh, the best uh, mech game. And over here, I've got some other games that are have uh, mech influenced uh, gameplay. Let's say. One of them be a Ninja Warriors right there on the Super Nintendo. Obviously, it's an awesome beat em up, a lot of fun. But your characters are actually mechs. They're mechs and they're skinned over. They have like human skin on the outside and they're like a robot mech underneath. So I thought that I would mention that as an honorable mention. Ninja Warriors is a really cool game, so much fun. I, I really enjoy it. It's, uh, it's just a great game on the Super Nintendo. Really love it. The other one there on the Genesis, Herzog 2. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I, I gave it my best shot. Anyways, this is a really cool game, like a kind of like a, uh, I guess a strategy type game where you have little bases and things like that. And anyways, your character uh, is an airplane that can, uh, you know, become a mech and uh, roll around. So that's why I included it in uh, in this honorable mention, kind of the, uh, the, the games that have, uh, you know, mech aspects to it. And definitely, Herzog's Eye is one of those. It's a really cool game. Lots of fun. Absolutely love it. And on Nintendo 64, Blast Corps. Now, this is a game that uh, there's three, I believe, two or three different uh, uh, choices in there, and they're actually mechs. They can fly around and smash buildings. I, you know the premise of the game. You have to clear a path. There's a nuclear bomb coming on a truck, and if you don't, it blows up. So yeah, uh, I think I believe two or three of the characters are mechs. They can fly around. They can uh, you know break stuff, and you know your little guy can run out, out you know run outside after it and stuff like that, and go to you know go into different mechs and stuff like that. Of course, there's also cars and bulldozers and things like that. But yeah, so these three right here basically have mech aspects to it. So I thought I would include them in the honorable mentions. And going to the top five. Number five, Iron Soldier on the Atari Jaguar. Now I have mine right there, complete in box. 
Awesome game. They have Iron Soldier and also Iron Soldier 2 on the Jaguar. Here's some gameplay right here. There's a missile being shot right there. Now you can see this isn't uh, a, a, a technical showpiece <laughs> by today's standards anymore, obviously. It's not quite that, but it's a really solid mech game. It's a lot of fun. You know, back in that early era, you know, this is a really good time. Uh, you, you've got your giant mech, you're walking around. Uh, and with the controller right here, you know, you've got access to, you know, weapons on your shoulder, on your hip, things like that. So it's really cool. I really like it. So anyways, number five, Iron Soldier on the Atari Jaguar. There you can kind of see, get an idea what your mech looks like in Iron Soldier. Really cool for the era. Lots of fun. You know, it was an ambitious game at the time as well. So you got to imagine the time. This is the, uh, you know, very early fifth generation. So anyways, Iron Soldier right there. Number four. It's a more modern game here. PS4. It's uh, Titanfall 2. Now, this is a really cool game. It's really beautiful. It's an awesome game. It's a lot of fun. I mean, you've got a giant mech. You're, you're going around, blowing things up. I can get out of your mech as well. Uh, you know, really cool worlds. You know, cool army bases, things like that. You know, it's a modern mech game. It's a lot of fun. It's really cool. Uh, you know, it's on the PS4, which is my most modern system. You know, most of my stuff stops at sixth generation. So I don't really have a lot of modern games, but uh, this is one of the few, Titanfall 2. Really cool game on the PlayStation 4 and really cool graphics. Uh, really a nice game and, you know, super cheap. Number three, Cybernator. Cybernator on the Super Nintendo. I mean, this is a lot like uh, the other one, uh, Metal Warrior on Super Nintendo. Very similar. Uh, but Cybernator is a lot cheaper, a lot more accessible. It's a really cool mech game. I mean, basically, your ship is you're out in outer space and you just bust into this other ship. And right away goes your mech and you can, you know, you can run over little guys and stuff like that, which are people. <laughs> you got really cool weapons. You have like a napalm weapon. Uh, you know, you got this, uh, you know, really cool, uh, mech and, uh, it's got different aspects to it, like a side-scrolling platformer. <clears throat> it's got some parts that are kind of like a, like a shooter type game. So a really cool game. I mean, it's, uh, you know, Cybernator, it's, uh, you know, one of the better games on Super Nintendo. I'd say it's in the top, definitely in the top 25. I really like it. I've, I've always liked Cybernator. It's just a cool game and the cutscenes are really done really well, nicely too. It's just an awesome game. I really had a good time with this one. Cybernator on Super Nintendo, number three. Number two, Elemental Gimmick Gear, or Egg for short, on the Sega Dreamcast. Now, a couple of you that aren't familiar with this game might think of, why is this a mech game? Well, your main character is in a Elemental Gimmick Gear, which is uh, like a mech robot type thing that goes around this overworld uh, and then they have these, uh, you know, battles as well with other mechs. And so it goes into this like side screen when you're battling other mechs. It's a lot of fun. I mean, this game is just completely unique to Dreamcast. It's, it's completely unusual. It's got a really cool uh, background. Uh, just an awesome, awesome game. I know it's a little bit on the pricey side, unfortunately. It's a, you know, but still, it's a really cool game. It kind of reminds me like if, uh, um, you know, like a, if like, let's say like, uh, I don't know, like a mech warrior type game, uh, you know, had a baby with uh, <laughs> Zelda Link to the Past. This would be the, uh, this would be the child. <laughs> it's something like that. It's got some, a lot of Zelda-esque uh, attributes to it too. You know, like kind of that uh, RPG light, you know, action game type, uh, you know, top, uh, top view of the game. So yeah, Egg is a really solid pick and uh, it's, it's number two for the best mech game. And number one, that I have right here on the original Xbox Mech Assault. Now this is a very traditional mech game. Very cool. You're in your giant robot, you're just killing stuff, you're you're shooting up office buildings, you're shooting up other mechs. I mean, you're just causing mass destruction. I mean, that's what a mech game is about. So much fun, so many cool weapons. And the Xbox does it really good. I believe there's a Mech Assault 2 as well on Xbox. 
Uh, I don't have it, but it's, uh, it's, it's uh, you know, the first one's really cool. You can see my price right there that I paid for it. I mean, that's, that's really funny. I just noticed that. 49 cents. Wow. That's got to be one of the cheapest games I have. <laughs> anyways, Mech Assault for being the traditional mech game as number one. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Something a little different. You know, a little different spin. A different category of game. There's Mr. Buzzsaw, very calm today, just hanging out. Anyways, if you made this far, uh, you know, you're part of, part of the Buzzsaw army. Put a lizard emoji down below and uh, please like and subscribe and share and, you know, all that fun stuff. We enjoy making these videos. So, anyways, Mr. Buzzsaw, signing out.